From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook Bed Bugs by Jason R. Davis, narrated by Darren Marlar. If you love horror but hate bugs, this is the audiobook for you. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Scientists say Earth's sun may have had a long-lost twin. <laughs> and you think global warming is a problem now? President Trump's sons are starting a new American-themed hotel chain inspired by their father's campaign. Eric and Don Jr. plan to launch a patriotism-themed hotel chain called American Idea and will start with three locations in Mississippi. It's exactly the kind of place the Trumps would never stay. You think Americans suffer from lack of education? You have no idea! A new national survey in food and wine found that 48 percent of American adults aren't sure where chocolate milk comes from. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, I can't believe this is actually true. Meanwhile, a full 7 percent, 16.4 million Americans, think chocolate milk comes from brown cows. I mean, I'm not kidding about this. These figures they come from an Innovation Center for U.S. Dairy survey of more than a thousand people. While nearly half of Americans uh, not being clear where chocolate milk comes from, that might be shocking. Agriculture and nutrition experts they're not surprised about this. They have been complaining for decades that Americans are just woefully ignorant about what we eat. The co-founder of nonprofit Food Corps says we still get kids who are surprised that a French fry comes from a potato. <laughs> Uh, for the record, uh, in case you are an American and you don't know, chocolate milk is defined by the Center for U.S. Dairy as cow's milk with added flavoring and sweeteners. Now you know. A man is suing New York City after he leapt drunkenly from the back of one of the city's ambulances while it was moving. Well, you know, at least he already had an ambulance there. During his latest trip to North Korea, former NBA star Dennis Rodman has presented Kim Jong-un with gifts, including Donald Trump's The Art of the Deal, a copy of Where's Waldo, <laughs> okay, a mermaid puzzle, two sets of soap, and two autographed jerseys. A mermaid puzzle! What, what is Kim, a six-year-old girl? Those who planned to spend this past weekend in the waters off Florida's Sunny Isles Beach near Miami, they got a huge surprise. The Florida Department of Health shut down a two-block stretch between 172nd Street and 174th Street until further notice for safety reasons. No, no shark sightings or unusually rough waters, it's far worse than that. Water samples showed that bacteria levels were too high because there's too much poop in the water. Yeah, the beach did not meet the recreational water quality standard for entercocci, a uh, bacteria in animals' intestines, meaning there was too much human or pet poop for it to be safe to swim. Well, that just put me off of swimming ever again. Soup Man, the company of Seinfeld soup Nazi fame, they have filed bankruptcy. No success for you! A Belgian movie theater is being criticized for handing out goodie bags at a showing of Wonder Woman that contained a scourer, bathroom wiper, dish sponge, and a pamphlet for slibbing pills. Women are understandably upset, while men are looking into what it would take to relocate to Belgium. According to a new study, happy people average 7.1 hours of sleep a night. The challenge is sleeping exactly 7 hours 6 minutes. Amazon is buying Whole Foods for $13.77 billion. Of course, at any other store, that would probably only been around $5 billion. Elizabeth Banks criticized Steven Spielberg recently for not having directed movies with a female lead. Uh, yeah, uh, three words for you there, Lizzie. The Color Purple. Oregon has become the first state to allow you to choose X for sex on your driver's license rather than choosing between M and Y. Marvel X-Men fans are said to be ecstatic. It is hot in Spain, so much so that overheated students near Madrid were moved from their school to a cooler place, the local air-conditioned funeral home. 
The unusual decision is just one of several measures taken in recent days as the country goes through a crazy heat wave. And instead of being sent to the corner when misbehaving, the students are forced to lay down in the body freezers. Airport customs authorities in Frankfurt, Germany confiscated 35 tons of fidget spinners and plan on crushing them out of existence. They say they tested the toys, which came in multiple shipments from China, and found that parts could fall off and pose possible choking hazards for small children. So what do you call the destruction of 35 tons of fidget spinners? A good start. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!